Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Taco Boy Terry goes to a town hall meeting and makes a complete fool of himself in front of the mayor making all sorts of demands for FOIAs. But of course the mayor knows who he is and really doesn't put up with him. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Uh, anybody else like to come forward and speak? Thank you. Seeing no motion in the chamber. Oh, sorry. How you doing? Please come forward to state your full name and address. How you doing, folks? My name's Terrence Tracy, and I live here in Annapolis, specifically in Ward 6. How you doing, Gavin? Hey there. Good to see you. Doing good, buddy. Looking I'm asking, good. here to ask a few questions. Normally, I would just fill out a Public Information Act for these, uh, for these questions, but we all know how you guys don't follow the law regarding this, so this is my next best way of asking this. You told the local paper to write a slander piece about me, claiming that I was the reason for the metal detector downstairs. But then in that same article, at a later point, it states that a security audit in 2018 actually revealed that one was needed. So, which was it? Was it me or was it the security audit that prompted this metal detector downstairs? Oh, Taco Terry, do you actually think that you are that important that they would put in a metal detector just because of little old you? Little old you who puts on a taco t costume and to antagonize people. In fact, I think you're the butt of more than a few jokes at City Hall at times. And if so, why did you wait four years before enacting upon that security information? My final question is, why did you spend city money to actually purchase that metal detector downstairs back in 2018 or 2019 just to let it sit at the police department in a closet? How much does one of those metal detectors cost? And why have you misled your citizens on when and why the funds were spent to acquire? So we're just here to listen to you, so I'll take that into consideration. I think you answered some other people. This is a listening session. We don't answer. Well, you answered a few other people. No. I've heard you answer some questions tonight, but okay. Thank you. So you're not going to answer it? No. You're not going to answer this question because I put in Public Information Act requests okay. for that because it's public information, but you guys ignore those. I've reached out to the state ombudsman. You guys have declined to enter into mediation with the state ombudsman. I've reached out to the attorney general. You guys have still illegally neglected to give me that public information. Look, bottom feeder, how can anybody take you seriously when you dress up like a taco when you go out during your audits? I mean, first of all, auditing is as a joke as a whole, but you make it look even worse. You stated here in another city council meeting that you would love to have coffee anytime that your door was open. I tried to set that meeting up multiple times with Hillary Raftovich. I came and even knocked on your door for over an hour, was accosted <laughs> by your city manager, threatened, and then falsely charged with crimes that I didn't commit. So at what point will you answer these questions? At what point will you give me the public information that I'm legally requesting, Mayor Gavin Buckley? So I think that you've, this is a pattern you have all over the uh, region. So we, we are letting professionals deal with you. Thank you. I'm, I'm sorry? We are pattern. letting professionals deal with you. We're letting the You are the system. professionals. You're the elected, okay. you're the elected official, and, sir. And thank you. You've had your you three minutes now. You have city attorneys. Now. No, I haven't. The bell hasn't gone off yet, sir. I still, it's still my time. You have city attorneys to deal with these Public Information Act requests the saying that you have a city clerk, so why when I put it in do you not answer it? The mayor says he's letting the professionals deal with you. He's gotta mean the psychiatric professionals because what kind of an idiot dresses up like a taco anyway and then goes and knocks on the mayor's door for over an hour? I mean, for over an hour uh, knocking on somebody's door seems a little bit obsessive. Like somebody might have a few screws loose. You said you're allowing the professionals to handle it, but yet when I submit it legally and in the proper channels, you ignore it. So what professionals are handling it if the people elected and appointed to handle it 
aren't doing it, sir. At what point is someone going to handle it and do it? You put in hundreds of these requests. I put in seven of them because in you the ignored region, every single in one In the of region, them. thank you. <clears throat> is, there a, is there a limit to how many Public Information Act requests I'm allowed to put in? I'm sorry? Uh, I'm not answering your questions. Well, you did. You just tried yeah. to sit there and say that I put in a hundred of them. I said hundreds around the region. Is yeah. there a limit to how many I'm allowed to put I, in? I, I assume not, okay. but you know, we you, you take a lot of city time with your efforts. Thank you. You haven't answered one of them yet. Okay, so. can you please step off the podium now? It's hundreds of FOIA requests around the region. Well, that definitely tells me you're unemployed and had plenty of time to make frivolous requests. Yeah, it sounds like you've got way too much time on your hands. Uh, you know what I think? I think you should go work at your parents' restaurant. Oh, wait, they won't let you work there. I wonder why. Three minutes. My time is up yet, sir. Okay. Did I hear the bell go off yet? No, the bell has gone. Okay. It, yeah. I didn't hear We've it go off. We've timed you, you on like three ding minutes ding already. Thank you. Thank okay. you. So we're not going to... We have to get on with the city council the meeting. Bell, sir. There you go. Don't it was off before that. There's a time limit and everyone has the same amount of time. Everyone is given the same rights and equal treatment. That's up additional here the time. Sir. Thank you. I don't... You don't get to discriminate against me because you don't like the fact that I use proper and legal channels to acquire public information. Thank that you. That was the bell telling me that I have X amount of time left. Do not rush me when I come down here. Thank you. Thank you. You're Bye. Well. See ya. I'm going to go sit right here in the chair. Yep. Great. Well, now, there you have it, folks. I'm sure the mayor has had plenty of dealings with him in the past, or at least had uh, people who's dealt with them in the past themselves. In any case, it seems like the mayor is dealing with it through professionals, which probably means mental professionals, but there is no mental help for this guy, considering he's completely brain dead.